For centuries, sports have played an integral part of our culture. Moving, collaborating, competing, celebrating. Sports have paved a way for us to play and move together. The activities that challenge us physically and mentally are shifting, and we are challenged to use our minds, our creativity, imagination, and critical thinking as much as we use our muscles. As we rethink where we move and redesign the parks, fields, and spaces around us to create places to play, we have the power to be forces for change and redefine the game. Let's work together to champion every sport and every person that plays the game so people of all abilities and skill levels can participate, giving us all reasons to cheer. It's time for us to revolutionize the way we play and move. It's time to be game changers. In the 2020-2021 first LEGO League Challenge season, Replay, you will explore opportunities to play and be active. More and more people are not active enough. Playing makes being active more fun. You get creative when you want to play, and it's this creativity, your creativity, that can help motivate us to be more active. How and where can we help people be more active? How can we motivate our community and impact the future? What solutions can we create now to help everyone to a fun and active future? Every role on your team is important to help solve the problem. It will take teamwork, imagination, and creativity. And it starts here, with your critical thinking and imagination leading the way toward fun and active lifestyles for everyone. You will also learn about the first core values. The core values are part of everything we do at first. They are like the members on your team. Each one works together to help you succeed. Discovery, innovation, impact, inclusion, teamwork, and fun. The core values should be a part of your first LEGO League experience. Use them throughout the season. Your innovation project is one component of the first LEGO League challenge. Identify a specific problem linked to people not being active enough. Research your problem and your solution ideas. Design a new piece of technology or improve an existing one. Make a model or a prototype to show how your solution helps people be active. Share your solution. Collect feedback and iterate on your design. Pitch your solution at an event. Make sure your whole team is involved. This is the replay competition field. There are 14 missions, which can be attempted in any order. You do not have to complete all the missions, just try as many as you can in each two and a half minute round. Only the score from your best round will be counted. Your robot must start from this launch area, and you should program it to return to this home area when it returns from the field. You can handle and modify your robot while it is in the home area. If your robot and all its equipment is small enough to fit in this small inspection area, you will score 25 points. Mission 1, Innovation Project. During this mission, you will use the white brick model that you have made that represents the solution to your innovation project. The robot moves your white brick model into the replay logo or to the gray area around the bench. Mission 2, Step Counter. The robot slides the step counter slow and steady. The further it moves, the more points that are scored. Mission 3, Slide. The robot slides the people off the slide and moves them to other areas, completely in home or on the heavy tire. Mission 4, Bench. The robot flattens the bench, removes the backrest, and gets cubes into the hopscotch spaces. Mission 5, 
Mission 5, Basketball. The robot gets a cube into the crate and raises the crate up the basketball post to the middle height or to the top height. Mission 6, Pull-Up Bar. The robot passes completely under the bar in either direction, then later comes back and lifts itself off the mat at the end of the match. Mission 7, Robot Dance. If the robot is dancing on the dance floor at the end of the match, Mission 8, Bacha. If both share models have sent only one cube anywhere into the opposing field and those cubes color match each other. If there are any color cubes in your frame or target. And if there is at least one yellow cube completely in your target. Mission 9, Tire Flip. The robot flips tires white side up, the heavy black tread tire and the light blue tread tire. If the heavy tire crosses the red flip line at any time, it scores zero. The robot moves the tires into the large target circle. Mission 10, cell phone. The robot flips the cell phone white side up. Mission 11, treadmill. The robot spins the rollers to move the pointer clockwise. The further it moves, the more points scored. Gray, red, orange, yellow, light green, or dark green. Mission 12, Row Machine. The robot moves the free wheel out of the large circle and into its smaller target circle. Mission 13, Weight Machine. Before the match, set the weight machine to the color you want blue, magenta, or yellow. During the match, the robot forces the large lever down until the little yellow stopper falls to score points. Blue, magenta, or yellow. Mission 14, Health Units. The robot collects health units from around the field, then moves them to target areas touching the replay logo, touching the gray area around the bench, or looped over the pull-up bar post. Mission 15, Precision. If you interrupt your robot, you will lose a precision token. Precision tokens left on the field can result in extra points. Remember to read the robot game rules and check for any updates during the season. Good luck this season, and remember to have fun as you reimagine the way we play and move. Whether you're exploring how our bodies move or uncovering opportunities to play that are fun and fair for everyone. Your creativity can revolutionize the world. Let's rethink the way we play and move it's time to be Game Changers.